What's up YouTube? Greetings to everybody and welcome if you're new to this channel. So here's the part 2 from the WL Toys Metal Bite, so enjoy it! So and first let me show you the gold body clips, like them very much really, you can put them on, doesn't matter if you have plastic or metal whatever, looks super cool, don't you agree? Yes yeah, so next steps guys, let us uh, change the upper plate into metal, so there are 4 screws and on the other side the same 4 screws, 2 at the sides and 2 tiny in the front, so let's do it. Yes, and we have to cut off the stock zip tie from factory. Yes, and we have three uh, types of screws. We have the black ones and we have uh, two from the silver ones. They're only a little bit longer, so you can choose uh, what you prefer. So let me show you. So here are the canopy holders, um, these are the screws, you can take them out and well, there are other screws so inside the package for the metal upper plate. So let us put it together, this side should uh, face to the inner side. So and here's the difference, so a little bit longer, so uh, I took three from the longer and here in the front left is the smaller one, so you see it's enough. Now I don't know if you want to put something on the upper plate, if you're afraid to, to cutting wires or something, so do what you like. If you have it more secure, take the longer ones, or take the smaller ones, so uh, here are the black ones, so uh, they are for the canopy holder, yeah. So let me show you, for perfect seat uh, you need to grind this little corner a little bit because uh, it's touching the motor, the motor mount, so uh, it's, it's really not, it's not a big deal and not uh, really much you have to grind down. So at this part I show you the canopy holders, the metal ones, so I want to cutting them. Uh, because I want to make them on the same size like the stock ones are but uh, it's a little bit of work and you don't need it to do but you have four pieces and the package so you can do it if you like like me so you have the same uh, height and if you don't like uh, and you don't want to have much uh, work with it put on the things and you're fine you have no work so even if you want to rise up the canopy for putting a bigger ESC for speed runs and stuff like this so take them like they are stock you don't need to cut them and uh, uh, drill them and now it's time for the A arms for the front arms and the rear arms so I have them like this uh, more pink than purple and here's one big issue so that we are uh, going to correct so from factory stock the tires going inside should be better for cornering what we are going to change these uh, two plastic parts and this metal part and they are going to be straight so very good for high speed don't forget to hit the like button and if you like what we do please subscribe So that's the first screw we need to take out, secure this uh, metal pin and after that we can uh, push it out from the other side. So uh, let's loose the screw from the shock absorber and now let us push through with this uh, tiny tube and grab it from the other side. Yeah, now the whole hub is out, super easy. 
Yeah, let's loose uh, these two screws on the bottom plate so we can get out this uh, little plastic bumper or what it's called. Yeah, now these two screws. And so first arm is out. Super easy. So now we're going uh, to our gold metal ones. So the included pins or rods, what you would call, are the same like the stock ones, so we don't need them. But these uh, M3 screws, they are just perfect. Yeah. So I'm going to take them uh, to lower the car. I will show you later. So they have the same thread, so I can take the stock ones and these through the holes. But uh, yeah, they don't fit through the holes, so uh, I'm going to make a thread inside. So uh, it's no big deal if you have one. Yeah, so the big pin out into the new arm to the other side and smaller pin to the left side through the hub. Yes, and I would highly recommend to take a Loctite uh, for the thread. So if you put in uh, metal screws into metal, it's always the best uh, side, the best solution really. So you're really secure. So first I'm ready, let's do it to the other side. So you can see this uh, gap shot face down. So on the front is ready. Ooh, looks damn good. So now it's time for the rear guys. Yes, and again, like in the front, so all the same screws out, pushing the rods out, taking from the other side, losing the shock absorbers, the pins, and that's it. So let's fast forward. So let us uh, make a break and come to normal speed. So here I'm going to show you. Uh, you only need to swap the plastic inlays that are holding the rods. So twist them around from the one to the other side, exactly like this, so that they facing to the inside. And that's it. We're done. So now our uh, our wheels are straight in the rear. So and yes, uh, sadly at the pink ones for the rear we don't have holes for stock from factory. So I need to make hole and a thread again. Uh, yeah, well let me uh, tell you, you only need to do this if you want to lower the car. If not, you don't need to these uh, to do these steps. So yes guys, we finished, the rear is ready, love it very much. Maybe I'm going to change it to another color, maybe gold, I don't know yet. And uh, let me show you, so now straight you can see, perfect for high speed runs. Don't forget to hit the like button, and if you like what we do, please subscribe. So guys, now let me show you the effect of uh, lowering the car. So maybe uh, a few guys of you don't know or know, don't know this or how it could look like. So look, it's straight, it's really laying perfect on the street. It's on the front also, so you can see it's really coming down. Yeah guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, so uh, please feel free to like and subscribe, so don't forget to hit the bell so that you don't miss any notification and see you next week.